Wow. Hey everybody, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. In the last episode we... Oh my god, no way. Actually, is it? No, it's not. Um, in the last episode we um, got the Forest Medallion and... Got um, the Forest Medallion from Saria and got the side quest a little bit further. And this episode, we're hopefully going to get the side quest closest to the part that we can get it to, and then go straight to the next temple. And now you just want to give this to the man. But the man isn't here anymore, it's a little girl. That guy isn't here anymore. Except for the Kakiri, people who come into the forest end up lost. They all become Stalfos, that's why he's not here anymore. His only his saw is left, hee <laughs> hee. That medicine is made from forest mushrooms. Give it back! So yeah, she's she's basically saying that Stalfos are basically people that are not Kakiris that go into the last woods and become Stalfos. Um, this part of it, we're gonna go into that area where the piece of heart and the waterfall is. It, where, where we went as a child, where the part, piece of heart in the waterfall was, if you can remember that. I'm going to see if I can think of something to get me able to do the Wii games or PS2 games or um, PSP games and stuff like that. I don't know if I'll be able to do the PSP ones because I'd have to, I'm the one that's holding the um, PSP, PSP, so um, yeah, I'm gonna have to hold it very still. Anyway, show the sword to this man. Hey, that sword, it's mine. But I thought I'd let, I left that sword with my old lady. Oh well, my big big gone tool breaks, and I was gonna going to go on city to get it repaired. You traded a poacher's saw for a broken Goron sword. And now where we're going now is where we want to go for the next temple. And then after this, after we give this to the, the Goron, um, that's how far we can do it until after the third, um, the second dungeon.
there is actually a gold scholar shield that we can get in here. Um, yeah, I just want to change it to night time, obviously, because we can't get gold scholar shields during the day. This one is actually pretty uh, weird place. When I when I tried to get it, I couldn't really get it that easily. And if you haven't guessed by now, it's on top of this house. Well, this building. Oh, there you go, made it. And there's that last one in here. No. Oh my god, I'm always missing one. Oh, actually, I think I know where it is. I think I know where it is hiding. I can't do this that easily. Oh great. Potion shop closed until morning. Coming up the ladder at night. Oh, my God! Climb back up the ladder, cause I pressed I to drop down the stupid ledge, and now I'm climbing up again. Nine minutes of this. Well, not really. <laughs> oh my god. Why can't you just go into that stupid potion shop at night? I give up. If you is is over there behind the windmill. Another way you could do it is turn at daytime, go into the potion shop, go through the back, then turn at night time, and then you'll spawn right out behind the building. But I don't have enough time to do that. So I need to get to the side quest side quest to the end nearly and then just get to the temple which I don't think I'm going to be able to do this in this episode 
which is, which is just fantastic or These next two Ghost Guard Shooters in this area, which there is only two left, you, it requires the item of the temple. Go over in this direction, and then he will appear. Show him the broken sword. And then he will give you that note. And you've got to go see King Zora, which you can't actually do um, until after the temple. I think the video is about to end itself, so once it if it once it does, I'm gonna say it right now. See you guys in the next episode. In next um in the next episode, we're gonna do the bit thing to get into the temple and help somebody. Not really, not really help somebody. All right. Anyway, see you guys then once it goes. Fifty rupees right there. Heart frenzy.